dear classmates and tutor um, today I'd like to speak about my proposal of evaluation in ELT so now I'll show you some slides to give you more information about this proposal So the population that I chose um, in the last activity, I mean task four, was uh, 26 adolescents from a private school in Palmira. So their English level is A1, which is um, beginner. So the skills to develop are listening, speaking, reading, and writing. And the main goal of this proposal is to motivate or encourage students to communicate with their classmates in English using technology. Okay, so this is very important because nowadays um, teenagers, especially this population, they are keen on, they really like uh, to use technology in their daily life, especially because they come from an... Um, media class or they have access to different devices like tablets, smartphones, laptops. So for them it's easy yeah, um, to use this technology uh, and they also like it. So we can use um, that motivation to learn English. Now Okay, assessment of young students and evaluation through technologies. So the, method, the methodology of this proposal is to create a blog. So with this blog, um, students will interact with their peers. So they will send emails, videos, podcasts, and other material uh, that they create during the classes. Everything will be uh, supervised and assisted by the teachers and, and also students uh, they will uh, produce the material and they will uh, provide feedback to their peers. Now, to evaluate listening um, I have chosen uh, some websites but the most important with these websites is um, uh, I'll post these links or several links related to this website. Uh, I'll show you later. Uh, and the main idea is that the students will watch a video. Sometimes could be a song, sometimes could be a clip from a, a series. And after that, they have to answer some questions related to the listening to assess their comprehension and their uh, listening skills. So um, now I'll try to show you uh, an example. Okay, so for example, this is the website, ESL Video. And here we have a clip from um, Friends, which is a series. And then here we have some questions related to that uh, episode. So and here we have different levels, so we can choose uh, beginning, A1, which is their level, and then they will find um, some conversations, and some uh, movies, and other and other clips, and also songs. and they will be assessed as you can see with phonics and also they will choose the right um, words yeah and also um, listening skills about the information they got from the from the listening 
Now to evaluate the speaking, we are going to have videos. So students, they have to create, they have to create some videos about, uh, for example, the last vacation they went to, um, and also their daily routines and other topics. So the idea is to record themselves um, speaking. And then they will share that um, that information, I mean, those videos uh, with their peers on the blog. And uh, also, they will have movie debates. Movie debates. So uh, students, they have to uh, watch a, a short documentary or a short clip about a certain topic. And then after that, they have to discuss uh, their opinions with their peers. Um, they will also have podcasts. So um, for these podcasts, uh, students will be like um, radio hosts. So they will create only post uh, podcasts. They will only record their voices and they are going to talk about uh, uh, an interesting topic um, that they really like. And then they, they will also describe the picture. Um, so uh, on the blog, their peers uh, choose some pictures and the other classmates, they have to try to describe the pictures. Okay. Now to evaluate um, reading and writing, we're going to have interacting website. So this interacting website is it's very important because it has lots of reading and writing resources and uh, this the most important is that these resources are according to different uh, levels okay, i'll show you and according to their level they have different activities like fill in the blanks like guess the word from the context like um use the right connector and um many other activities that help uh, students to build up their uh, their writing and reading skills. So I'll give you a look. So for example, grade seven or grade eight, and then uh, here they have games. They have lots of um, activities. So adjectives and adverbs. Okay. So identify. Um, and also pronounce before coming to the skip item. So as you can see, there are many resources that they can use online, and they they can um, do all of these activities online, okay, using these resources. Yeah, very useful. Punctuation, commas, how to use commas, um, so every, everything uh, to improve their writing skills. Okay, and so as you can see, uh, there are many resources that we can find online to support our our uh, English teaching, uh, and especially uh, when students are keen, yeah, to interact through. Um, technologies like blogs or smartphones or laptops and uh, so they can find these activities enjoyable and at the same time they can be motivated to learn English. Thank you. Uh, and I forgot the, the references. So here are some references. Yeah, thanks for watching.